all that. Yeah. If you're a first time buyer, do you lose your first time buyer status if you buy through a limited company or can you buy through a limited company and buy residential later to retain the FTB status? And your FTB status will be to do with your stamp duty, will it not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh. Who's going to take that? <laughs> I'm 90% sure mm. it does not affect them. I've been asked this mm. a um, month ago and I remember thinking yeah. separate legal entity, yeah. that is not you. If the government offer ISAs and money towards your first time buyer deposit, so I've never, I, my understanding is I don't know. I've yeah. never been in that position. Um, do you leave? Yeah, I don't know, but I would, I would concur. Yeah. A, a limited company is a separate legal entity. Um, I don't know. Uh, transfer my properties into my own, in my own name, over to my, over to, uh, yeah, a limited company. So, yeah, this is David. Thanks. Um, the main reason you were drawn to the web, like, thinking about it, is, and I, we have covered this. I think, what David's talking about is you've already got some properties. David, just stick in the chat. How many properties do you own already? Uh, I'll, I'll scroll down to the bottom. Um, and we are talking about putting them into a limited company. It's not a one size fits all. No. Not by lots of my clients. Way. Just do a sale and purchase. Depend. It depends on when you purchased it. The potential tax. You need to speak to an accountant, and they need to look at when you purchased it. What your goals are. Uh, Section 24 affects people differently, what your yeah. personal income is, so you need to sit down with all of the information. Yeah. But there's definitely ways David's saying he has five of his own name and two in a limited company, so you're over the magic five, depending on a few bits. So uh, I've seen some clients, you've had a couple, where they've got five and they buy two more in their personal name and then move them over. Yeah. yeah. John's, John's saying if you didn't, if you bought them for a particular price, maybe you can sell them. Yeah, which sometimes it's not much. Yeah. 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 Depending if they're really cheap, then. 39999 for some fixtures and fittings, there's no stamp duty anywhere, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's, um, look, have a conversation, have a one-to-one. -one. If you're speaking to some advisors, not as of course, we we're here, we can help you and, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out. Yes, but of course, I know you were probably already having conversations with other people as well. If you are being told you must pay stamp duty, capital gains tax, definitely book a one-to-one -one because you might, you definitely might have to, it might be the best thing to do, but it's always worth checking because the default for most basic accountants is, well, that's not possible, you've got to just sell it from what you feel there. Absolutely. Um, so if you've been told you have to, might, might be true, but definitely come and, come and, come and check. Um, yes, next one was Steve. Um, from where? Go back up a bit. Yeah, sorry. So it was Steve Clark. I understand you can claim basic rate, 20% tax relief, even if you're a high rate taxpayer. Yes. But you'd be paying 40% and getting 20% back. So there's the problem. I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to Jess why he doesn't understand. Just because in case anyone else is and he doesn't need to exactly. understand it. So just, explain to anyone else why they might not understand. Uh, there's a 20% tax credit, so you can't claim the full amount. It's, it is what it is. They give you back 20% of your mortgage costs mm -hmm. as saying, oh, here you are. Right. But if you have paid 40%, then you're losing the difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to make me sound really fit, but honestly, that has been explained to me so many times, but it's like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Show me the maths. Can you just work out my tax bill? And it's obviously really good. I'm all right with that.